Former President Barack Obama is no culinary amateur. He dined with Anthony Bourdain over beers and Boon Cha in Hanoi, Vietnam. Unlike the Queen of England, Obama hasn't come out with his own gin, but he was the first president to homebrew beer in the White House. Michelle and Barack even doled out homemade cookies to trick-or-treaters at Halloween. Trust us when we say that the former president knows his food. Barack Obama definitely loves chili. If you are in Obama's home state, Hawaii, stop by Obama-approved Zippies and order up a chili on rice or spaghetti. When in Cincinnati, head to Skyline Chili to do like Barack Obama did and order up. I want a four-way with beans okay. and two cheese cones. Okay. While in Washington, D.C., meanwhile, the Obamas have been known to frequent the coop and to feast on the restaurant's chili bowls. If, on the other hand, the Obamas invite you over to their place for dinner, you can possibly expect to chow down on Barack Obama's own chili recipe. The former president once told North Coast Journal that the recipe has been a favorite of his since college and that he would, quote, bring it to any potluck. Former First Lady Michelle Obama likes Barack's chili so much that she claimed the recipe for the family. As she once told Parade, When we lived in Chicago, we loved to invite our family and friends over to our house, make a batch of chili, and enjoy the evening together. It is now, says Michelle, called the President's Chili Recipe, which brings us to flavor. Serious Eats calls the Obama chili solidly Midwestern. Midwestern maybe, but don't be too quick to box it in. Cook up a batch of Barack Obama's chili and it may surprise you. For one, the Obamas like to serve their chili over white or brown rice. Rumor has it that Midwesterners, on the other hand, eat their chili with cinnamon buns and, more scandalously still, peanut butter sandwiches. Pop Sugar recently made Obama's chili and called it incredibly fast and simple. When the American moms made it, they noted that the end result wasn't as soupy as standard chili recipes and further pointed to unusual additions of fresh tomatoes, turmeric, and flavor-enhancing red wine vinegar. As Obama remarked to North Coast Journal, if you make it right, it's just got the right amount of bite, the right amount of oomph in it, and it will clear your sinuses. Back in 2008, Obama's body man Reggie Love wrote a piece for the New York Times about the former president's food preferences. On the like list, planter's trail mix, roasted almonds, pistachios, chocolate roasted peanut protein bars, and vegetables, especially broccoli and spinach. Among his dislikes, salt and vinegar potato chips, asparagus, and mayonnaise. When it comes to food, the former president is nothing if not opinionated, and opinions are exactly what Barack Obama has when it comes to guacamole. You might not remember when the New York Times tweeted about a guacamole recipe that incorporated peas, but Obama certainly does. Holy guacamole! Why would anyone take perfectly good guacamole and add peas? The Guardian called the Twitter outrage that resulted, quote, the great guac-off of 2015. Barack Obama eagerly fanned the flames when he tweeted out his preferred guacamole additions, writing, Respect the NYT, but not buying peas and guac. Onions, garlic, hot peppers, classic. The former president wasn't joking around. About a year before the great guac off, during the kids' state dinner, Obama admitted that his love for a bowl of good chips and guacamole is intense, even joking. Basically, if there's a bowl of good chips and guacamole, uh, he loses. I, lose his, I lose my mind. And when today Savannah Guthrie asked Obama to choose between chicken wings or chips and guacamole, Obama replied, Now that's tough. I'm going to go with chips and guac. I'm a fanatic about guac. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.